Hitting local tonight, the use of body cameras on officers has been a topic of discussion in the law enforcement community in recent years. The Stark County Sheriff's Office is ready to make the change in order to bring transparency to the public. Mike D'Andrea visited with Sheriff Corey Lee and shares the story of the decision to turn on the camera. Sheriff Corey Lee of Stark County recently approved a five-year agreement with a brand of body cams owned by Motorola. The deal is worth $383,000, and Sheriff Lee says it is a worthwhile investment as there is more to it. Which that, uh, that project comes with is also our uh, videos for our vehicles, our interview rooms, uh, not just the body cams. He says the initial funding for the cameras came from COVID relief funds, but this system will in some way affect the taxpayer later. The idea is not only to assist police officers in gathering information from a scene, but also to address incidents of alleged officer misconduct. Stark County is the first law enforcement office to use this brand of body cameras, which is endorsed by the NAACP. This particular body cam uh, fits into our vests. Uh, it, it can't come off in the heat of battle. So what we're seeing a lot with these body cams around the United States is that they clip on the outside of the vest. Well, uh, you're seeing videos all over the place where their uh, officers are getting in fights, video cameras are popping off, uh, the incident occurs, and now you're getting a view of the street lights. These new cameras also come with an officer down feature, which alerts nearby units when an officer has been on the ground for 10 seconds or more. Police departments within Stark County have recently introduced body cameras, such as Dickinson Police Department, and has proven to be successful. DPD signed a similar five-year agreement with Axon worth just shy of $220,000. There aren't enough cameras available for the 44 and a half sworn police officers, so some of the department go without cameras. Right now I have 38 cameras because um, not administration, I don't, you know, I don't no longer need a camera because I'm not doing that kind of police work any longer. And then our school resource officers also are not wearing the body cameras. The idea was first introduced to DPD in April and then implemented roughly five weeks after an officer involved shooting at an apartment complex in town. Lieutenant Hansen says these body cams have received positive feedback from the officers and can be helpful when recalling specific events. It would make that situation maybe a lot cleaner for a prosecutor if there was if there was questions about what the officer saw or, or anything like that. This would also assist officers in taking statements from witnesses and victims. Reporting in Dickinson for KX News, Mike Dandria. The cameras used by the Dickinson Police Department also have a live feed option where supervisors can monitor officer activity in real time. Sheriff Lee is hopeful the cameras will be installed by the spring of 2022. Passenger boardings in September across